Okay, gang, well, I have another story video for today. How I got jailed in France. And this one's pretty interesting. And I wanted to tell it because it's a good story and it happened just about a year ago exactly. So I was in Spain for like two weeks. I was I was in Spain for two, two three weeks. I don't remember, two weeks. And then I went to like Italy and then I went back to Spain and then I was in France. I went back to Italy again. I'm trying to think. I went back to Italy again and then I went to France. And so I was leaving France to go to Philadelphia. I was all alone. I, th I was in France with my mom and my grandma. We went to France and Italy together, but I was in Spain by myself working at the recording studio. So I just kind of met up with them because they were in the area too in the area i mean like we were all in, happened to be in europe so we were like oh yeah hell yeah i'm gonna meet my family over there after i'm done working at the recording studio so i did when i went back yeah i, I went back through paris airport and they were gonna chill in france for longer i was like okay so i go to head back and um i had priority boarding I had priority boarding. I was just sitting at Paris Airport. There was someone playing the piano. I was chilling there. I was just playing my Nintendo Switch. And you know what? I lost a little bit track of time. I lost track of time. I think I was playing Minecraft or Animal Crossing. Name your Carla game. I was like, oh damn. Well, the whole line. I, I wait. I'm a, let me backtrack a little bit. I waited until the line for the plane was shorter because I didn't want to be standing around. It was like pretty reasonable. I had a lot of weight in my bags. I don't want to be standing around there when it's like I could just wait for the line to fucking go and then I can go at the, the line when the line's shorter. Like everyone's getting on the plane regardless. What am I going to do? Like sit on the plane? Like I'll be here. I'll chill out. Like I'm not in that much of a rush. So I go to go board and it gets bad. So they had pulled me and a black gentleman aside to swab everything that we have. So that means all the insides of our bags. They like put this like they had like this plastic stick thing and they put like a piece of paper on it or some shit and they like swabbed all of the areas of like our bags and shit and everything and well i may or may not have had marijuana in my bag in spain i may may or may not have had a bag of marijuana in spain like i may or may not have had i don't know if I had had that at any point in my bag, but they did find a trace of it somehow. So they found a trace of weed in my bag. And I'm not gonna lie, they're like, they, they started questioning me heavy. They're like, have you at any point had drugs in this bag? I'm like, no. What about, they're like, THC, marijuana, devil's lettuce. And I'm like, no. And they're like, at any point did, did you, give this bag to somebody to borrow. And so I was like, yeah, I gave it to a friend to borrow, which was not the fucking truth. I did not give it to anybody. Like it was me, I, it was me. Yeah, but they took me into custody and heavily questioned me. It was very not fun. And then they started saying shit like, no, I don't know if we're gonna let you go type shit. And it's scary for me because all these people are French. Keep in mind, they're all French. They're all speaking French. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. It doesn't sound good though. It, I don't know what the fuck they're saying. They thoroughly search me. Like thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly search me. And they didn't find anything, obviously. <laughs> and then they decided they were gonna let me go. They thoroughly, thoroughly searched me. And they didn't find anything. And they're like, we're gonna let you go. But they might give you a problem at the Philadelphia airport, essentially, is what I was told. They're like, but they said it in a really scary way. They're like, at the country you were going to, they might give you a hard time. They might put you in jail type shit. So I was thinking, like, I was on my plane to Philadelphia and half of me was chilling. Like, I kind of like knew I was freaking out for no reason. But the other half of me is like, oh man, what if they like fucking, they relay some shit and they tell me to get off the plane in Philly and they fucking, or doing some shit, I don't know. I was just t scared, but of course I got to Philly and nobody cared. People couldn't care, it's Philadelphia. Nobody could care less. And I think in my heart, I really knew that. 
I think in my heart I did truly know that and that's why I wasn't freaking out on the plane as much as I could have been, maybe. But there's no other feeling than coming back to America after some shit like that has happened to you. Man, I was glad to be back. So yeah, that, that's the time I got investigated at Paris Airport. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was very terrifying for me. Um, it was not a good time for me. But I hope you had a good time watching this video because... And they had a PS5 thing there. I also forgot to mention that when I did first get to Paris Airport, like, the lady was like, you need an adult if you're under 14 and traveling by yourself. And I was like, and it was after I had handed her my passport. I was 21, 20? I was 20. Anyways, like and sub, I have merch out now. Um, be careful of Paris Airport.